Let's talk now about a particular kind of jujutsu or study within Kenjutsu called katsupo. Uh, this katsu comes from Thai or bind and to comes from uh, the kanji tatakao or to fight. Uh, so this is a kind of, of jujutsu uh, in which it is, it is crucial how it can be done in suari, nogiko or even katami, nogiko. Uh, and uh, we'll show two ways. It can be done uh, when Uke is, is using a tanto and when both of us are using wakizashi. So, it is quite interesting that uh, it resembles something quite uh, ancient, quite simple. Uh, and uh, one, of the, one of the major uh, principles in this katsupo is that we will often rotate or spin around the same axis and this spin will cause different uh, movements in the uke. So let's see, for example, he first tries to stab us, to, to, to pierce us, and we always use, as always in Jujutsu, the floor, the ground, as a, a equalizer of forces. So, We'll first arrest him down, take him down by using our own weight, and then spin around this same axis. So from here, we'll have this. So, one more time, in this technique, we can see the inertia, or we can see how our, uh, our circular movement in a very short radius, what it will cause when it, it is reflected over his shoulder, scapula, and so on. So, let's see, taking him down, getting close to the tanto, which in this case, it's, it's the most safe, once it is pinned down. So from here, and then using the weight of our whole body in this kind of movement, in this, uh, along this inertia. So, you'll see. Always pin down, and always using our, our weight. Another form we can have is, tries to stab us, and we take him now, and to the other side, it was the same principle all over again, taking him pin down and then rotate mm -hmm. over this axis. And there are many variations and, and types of study on cross and under leg and so on. So for example. Thus, with this angle, preventing him to take his hand off and spinning. It's interesting to note that whenever we find in Jujutsu ourselves in Katami, Noiko, once we use the floor as um, the same surface for both of us and we're close to it, we are uh, mostly stable. Uh, it feels like we get heavier for each other. So this is the, the idea that we can pin him down, put him our weight downward and then uh, spin getting him in uh, uncomfortable angles. So, when you go to Wakizashi, he, he tries to stab us one more time, then we use my eye, we use just a small angle, we deviate just uh, uh, over a small angle, and then
Now here is the same principle of the usage of weight, but in a very particular and interesting way. So from here, what we have is, we have this, we are piercing him, stabbing him already. And now we won't use a, a short, a small radius, we use a wide radius, a long circular movement in such a way that when we pin him down, We have our weight one more time with our arms crossed like, like this. And now the floor, you know, what the floor will, will provide me is the support I need to by take by um, by pulling him next next to me, close to me, having him pierced. Of course, uh, beside this there is other angles quite interesting, which you can see with the tunnel, for example, which do not spin over the same axis. But uh, what we'll do, for example, is we'll take him down from here and then we'll spin over him. So from here, something like same principle of using the weight and the circular motion to get him pinned down. <laughs> 